It is time for the annual Winey Awards, and Will the Wine Guy is here with this year's nominees. Always a highlight. Will, good morning, sir. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, very Happy excited. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. There could not be a better day for Wine Wednesday and to announce the nominees for this year's Winey Awards. Music, there please. My no, no music. Okay. No uh, music? Uh, we no. just had music. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> Where would we like to begin? I believe we're going to start with white wines and the nominees. Will, take it away. All right. So, uh, as usual, I reached out to sommeliers around um, San Diego, uh, along with uh, I had a liquor store owner, I had a restaurant owner, I had a bunch of different people give me all their nominations. So that's what that's. I just want to preface this with Excellent. that, knowing that. This is, there's nothing <laughs> yeah. being laid This is no by Banana Davis. Republic we're running here. This is a legit uh, election and uh, contest. That is exactly right. Exactly. That is exactly right. Okay, so uh, back to best white wine. Um, and the nominees are Hartford Court Chardonnay All right. uh, from Sonoma, Sea uh, Pearl Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand, um, Rombauer Chardonnay from Napa Valley, and Frank Family Chardonnay from Napa Valley. Okay. Good now, stuff. mind you, uh, I tried to keep the. I told everybody to try and keep these at fifty dollars and under. Okay. Because um, you know we, we don't want to have one of those <laughs> one of those deals where you know it's a five hundred dollar bottle of wine of and you can't go enjoy. So most of these are ten to ten to forty forty five bucks or something. Excellent. Yeah, attainable. Everybody can maybe try some of the winners and the nominees. Okay, let's go now to. Uh oh, this is my category, Mr. Burtner. Best <laughs> red wine. <laughs> Best red wine. Okay, so we're going to start with Brewer Clifton Pinot Noir out of the Santa Rita Hills. Yes. Um, the Prisoner Red Blend out of Ooh, Napa the Valley. the Prisoner, yes. <laughs> Bataya Barbera from Temecula, mm. and uh, which which was kind of a surprise that that came from one of my certified sommeliers. So I, I have to try that one myself, actually. Interesting. Um, and then Substance Cabernet Sauvignon from Washington. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's yeah. going to be a good contest there, isn't it? You would think that Napa Valley would have the lead on something like this, but not necessarily so. No, not necessarily. And, you know, what has been cool in the past when we've done these awards, now that it's gone to a vote, um, people will try them and they'll call, they'll yeah. text me and say, hey, you know, I went through some of these wines. This is the one, surprisingly, I like more than the others. So, okay. yeah, hopefully we get more of that this year. If you haven't tried that Temecula one, then maybe we need to go up to uh, Botaya Barbera <clears throat> and try it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Suggestion. Okay, <laughs> next category we have best sparkling wine. Okay, I love sparkling wine. That's why we added this, was because I had so many people ask me in the past about sparkling wine. Anyways, right. best right. sparkling wine. Uh, Henriot Brut from Champagne. Okay. Uh, Mo Moet and Chandon Imperial Brut from Champagne. Schramsberg Blanc de Blanc. Uh, from Champagne, and then uh, Rotor Estate from Sonoma. Mm. Interesting. Now that's made by Rotor, which is a, a house out of Europe as well. Um, but they have their second um, location there in Sonoma, and they still use the same exact methods. It's really, really good uh, stuff. So hopefully we can all get out there and try these. Okay, interesting that three are from Champagne and one from Sonoma. Okay, let's move on to best local winery. Okay, best local winery. Domain Artifact uh, in Highland Valley up there. If you haven't been to Highland Valley, you should really go up there yes. uh, and check that out. Uh, Carruth Cellars in Solana Beach, uh, Hilltop Winery in Valley Center, um, and Marshall Stewart in Fallbrook. Outstanding. Taking my notes here. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, best local brewery where we are in San Diego after all, so this is going to be a good lineup. Yeah, I'm always interested to see what I get back on this when I reach out to the people. It's always, you know, different things. So the first one was Wild Barrel in San Marcos. Hmm. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that was nominated by a wine rep, actually. Wow. Uh, he, he represents wine. He loves that place. So uh, Virgin Beer Company in Carlsbad. Okay. Uh, fantastic beers there, that's for sure. Uh, Pure Brewing Project in San Diego, and then Craft Coast Brewery in Oceanside, which is a new brewery in Oceanside. Excellent. Um, and they have killer tacos there. <laughs> it's really, really good. <laughs> Just throwing that in there for, for, for good reason. Why not? Uh, okay. Here's the important part in how the Winey Awards have progressed over the years. 
People have a chance to vote on these, and you said people now like to go out and try the different nominees before they vote. So tell me how that is going to work out. So basically, you know, you're going to post a, a link there on the Fox 5 website, um, and then, you know, we'll blast it out on social media. Um, and if anybody has any questions where they can find any of these things, they can respond to any of my own social media or reach out to me directly, uh, and I can help them find these different things. Most of them you can find in uh, various, you know, liquor stores or, uh, you know, the higher end ones, uh, along with a, a good amount of them you can find in, um, in grocery stores. So. Okay. This is mm -hmm. exciting. Do we have a date? I know, by the way? I can't wait. Do we have a date What's for that? these Whiny Awards? I don't see a date for yeah, these Whiny Awards. In four weeks. In four weeks. Four weeks. Yes, you got it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of voting. We've got a, an Easter segment coming up in two weeks, so we're going to be pairing up Indeed. some. Uh, Maybe some wine with bunnies. Oh, this is good. <laughs> what? <laughs> a Riesling. Sorry, oh, no, we no, just no, got wait, two what? rabbits, and I really no, want No, 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 no. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Will, thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to the what annual is it? Do we know? It is the ninth Stop annual it. Wine Awards, bro. Isn't that crazy? We're going to have to go Man. bonkers for the 10th annual, aren't we? <laughs> I know. Something tells me we have that in our, in our yes, bag sir. of tricks. Okay, uh, Will, <laughs> thank you. Uh, to vote for the Whiny Awards, go to fox5sandiego.com right now and click the Scene on tab.